Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin, and today's video what I have for you guys, I'm going to be showing you guys the Pharaoh best class setup, and this gameplay is also a Pharaoh nuclear, so this is actually the first nuclear I ever got, which is pretty freaking sick. So before I get into this video, I'd like to ask if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe and upload a ton of BO3 videos. Also, be sure to drop a like on this video. Let's go for 2,000 likes. That'd be awesome if you could hit that. So let me talk a bit about the Pharaoh class setup, which is the best Pharaoh class, and then I'll talk more about the gameplay and stuff like that. So this class setup, basically, I will show it up on the screen this is what I like to run on the Pharaoh and a lot of people have been requesting a class setup for the Pharaoh simply for the fact that the Pharaoh is literally like the best gun in the game it absolutely melts people close range medium range even long range if you sort of take the burst slowly tapping it this gun has, does absolute work so let me show the class up on screen right now and this is what I like to run I like to run the Pharaoh with the elo sight now you won't get this until la until like level 14 or 16 with your gun but that's all good you could just run a red dart you could just run the iron sights the iron sights aren't even bad on this gun then what you want to run is you want to run the extended mags and fast mags this basically means you can spray destroy people this gun has great hip fire so a lot of times you're just going to be spraying and you're just going to have to spray people down with it and then i also want to run rapid fire as my third attachment with the primary gunfighter for the simple fact that this gun bursts pretty fast but with the rapid fire it goes even even faster and there's no way people can kill you in between those bursts those bursts are literally fully automatic this gun is literally a fully automatic burst gun which is absolutely crazy Kind of hard to even comprehend how good this gun is. As you can see, I pick up a two-piece right there with it. So for the perks and for the secondary, I like to run, I think it's called the RK5. The RK5 is basically the B23R from Black Ops 2. And what it is, is that's a burst, sub, uh, not submachine gun, a burst secondary pistol. And it's a really good gun. Uh, the thing with that one, I heard that one and the M8 as well. You can't hold down the trigger even though they are burst. The only ones you can hold the trigger down with on the burst ones are the Pharaoh and the XR2. But uh, the, the, the pistol, you have to tap it, but it's still a very strong pistol. And then these are the perks that I like to run. These perks can obviously be changed out depending on your map. Like if you're running on Nuketown or even on Combine on this map, maybe you'd want to switch out the perks. But you'd like to run probably a flak jacket or something like that. But what I like to run is Ghost for the first perk because this, this is my feeling behind Ghost. Some people say, oh, Ghost is cheap and stuff like that. The game just came out. There's a lot of level 2 kids. There's a lot of level 10 people. There's a lot of people running UAV. And it only takes, whatever, 500 points to get a UAV where people can get a capture and a few kills and they already have a UAV. So you want to run Ghost to make sure you're protected in 6v6 in Ground War. It's just the best perk one. Um, you could also run Flak Jacket if you decided to do that or if you don't have Ghost unlocked because Ghost you get at a later level. And then my second perk is going to be Scavenger. I don't want to run out of ammo. I think in this game I didn't have Scavenger yet on this class. So um, I had to pick up some guns. You'll see I finish off the nuclear streak with, an, uh, with like a KN and a Kuda and stuff like that. But you definitely want to run Scavenger so you don't have the problems that I had in this gameplay right here and then third perk my this is the third perk you always want to run every single class blast suppressor this is the best third perk in the game for the simple fact that it keeps you off the menu app every time you double jump and that's pretty often every time you gunfight every time you're trying to get up somewhere you're going to double jump and this thing will keep you off the mini map with that plus it also silences the sounds of your jumping which can be very loud and people can hear you even without a headset just off there if they're playing the sound through the tv they can hear those jumps really loudly and they'll be able to you know turn around and shoot you so this is the best class setup that i find with the pharaoh a very very good class setup uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy this a lot of pe you people have been requesting this so basically what i'm going to do now I've uploaded a ton of tip videos for Black Ops 3. Make sure you guys check all those out and a few nuclears now already. I'm going to go and uh, soon I'm going to start doing a bunch of live comms. Basically, the live comms are going to be showing off the best class for the gun and playing with guns, a lot of different guns and stuff like that. So, um, you know, the live videos, I'm going to try and get some good scores, get some fast-paced gameplays while showing you guys off the class. I think that's pretty cool because this game has a lot of gun balance. Any gun is pretty much good, and I think that this game is going to be really good for live comms for the simple fact that it's not going to be speakeasy ever every time like AW or it's not going to be the bow. Um, there's a variety of guns. I could do a CUDA live. I could do a Pharaoh. I could do a we I could use pretty much any of the SMDs or assault rifles, which makes it really good for going for diamond camo and for also, you know, gameplay variety. I think this gameplay is going to be absolutely sick. Not this gameplay, but this game. I picked that guy off. That is my brutal. And right here, actually, um, I skip ahead a little bit in this gameplay, but I real I never realized I was, you know, the game was ending. I was playing pretty safe because this was my first nuclear. This was before the one I got the other day, um, time wise. So I was like, oh, crap after i get this kill right here i realize oh my goodness it's 191 195 in the game i need to rush and you'll see right here i'm just sitting back i go over here and right here is where i realize i'm like oh my god at 195 and i turn around and i start sprinting for their spawn i didn't know if i could get this but this was an insanely clutch nuclear 
you'll see I get it with this kill right there. Bam, nuclear killer in the game. And so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Drop a like on it. Make sure to subscribe if you are new. Thanks for all the support on the videos, and I'm out. Peace.